I mean, would you want to leave? Wanna leave him? No. no. <laughs> I like how we're like really jumping the into thirst has the thirst level has increased dramatically. Hey guys, welcome to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We're super excited because we're gonna watch Red, White, and Royal Blue. What do you expect? I'm expecting a nice gay romance. Mm -hmm. No drama. I there's to, always drama involved I if, there, if there's gays in the, involved. <laughs> I wanted to be chilled. I wanted to be beautiful and I wanted to be romantic. With a happy ending. With a bit of spiciness. And explosiveness. It needs to be a little bit explosive just to keep uh, to keep us entertained. Super excited to dive in. A lot of you requested it. We also had a poll. Did we have a poll? I think yes, we did yes. at one point. Super excited, as we said. It's a big one. A lot of you asked for it. Our friends recommended it as well. It was on our list for over a year now. It's time. Are you ready? Yes. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Two hours. I'm ready. Are you ready? Two I want to see things. Royal. Mm, okay. That, that might not be the right show then. It is. It's very spicy, apparently. Is it? Yeah. I thought Travelers, Fellow Travelers, was very spicy. Well, this also. Oh, okay. So I'm wearing the wrong clothes because it's going to be sweaty. The crowd is cheering. Oh, Great Britain. Today inside Westminster Abbey, where the future King of England, Prince Philip, thousands came to cheer. Martha Fitzroy Mary. My God. <laughs> Oh, hello, Henry. Prince Henry. Presenting the US is Nora Holleran, the vice president's granddaughter. She's talking about us. It's the glamour of the air. My god, I hate him. Look at the cheekbones. <laughs> Bloody hell. Hey, here's an idea. How about we skip the party tonight and go do touristy things instead? No. Are you crazy? I want to <laughs> Touristy things in the UK, I can't. <laughs> is it his first time in London or Probably. What? That goes into the bank. You've been yucking my yam. <laughs> hey, wait, I thought I used the wrong fork at dinner. They just can't eat me alive. They will shoot you. Yes. Like a little pobble. I'm gonna eat you out. Yes. Prince Henry <laughs> in the catacombs. <laughs> Sir, let me show you Tower Bridge. Let me show you the here. palace. <laughs> the pal ass. <laughs> We're off to a good start. You're not gonna want to hear this. Okay? He is cute with those locks and this olive skin. Are you the worst kind of oh, okay. Oh, so he doesn't like him. Typical. Oh, you know what is extraordinary? Mm. Is how attractive the president's son is. Very true. I must agree. He's the world's most irritating person. Also, <laughs> aware that he's an absolute fool. I have heard so much about you. You have to be me, thank you. Oh, apparently she's going to show him. He's going to stick with him. No. Oh, he looks too good. Okay, we might need to stop watching this. But then I wonder where's the actually the American president? Why is he sending his son to this? Well. That will be me. That is rude. <laughs> Damn, dude. <gasps> of course he's drunk. Oh my god. Alex, killer wedding man. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Oh yeah. He doesn't love a little motion. They know each other? Maybe they matched on Grinder. <laughs> you gotta wonder how many families. Ooh. I actually thought this is gonna happen. I mean, it's such a big cake, it has to fall over. Tell me something, Your Majesty. <gasps> Oops. Oops. Yes, Alex. Uh, did your parents send you to snobbery school, or does looking down on people just come naturally to you? <gasps> King, oh, thank you for the etiquette lesson. You are desperately in need of one. You know what? No! <laughs> Let me clean you up. Let me touch you a little more. Awkward. 
Mm. Of course, everybody's watching now. Oh no. See, in Young Royals, everybody would have their phone out and would film this. It would be all over the internet already. Oh. Oh, it's gonna fall oh, no. into both of them. Ooh. No! And I bet that cake tasted amazing. What a waste. Oh! There's the camera! <laughs> this is cute. Cake catastrophe! Cake this gate. picture probably broke the internet. I think something else would break the internet in a minute. They need to take his visa away and send him back away. Send right. him back. Hear that, Zara? He's opening with oh, his mom is the president. Come through. No. Represent the family at the royal wedding and come on, Yuma Thurman, Kill Bill. Is she putting on an accent? What? Come oh, on. This is so stupid. I mean, it was a king. Chillax. Zara will explain everything. Fly back and suck his dick. No hookups, no partying. You can hate Prince Henry all you want, but the minute you see a camera, you better act like the sun shines out of his dick. Clermont Diaz, welcome to Kensington. Clermont Diaz. Of our Prince Henry's Aquary. Nice to meet you, John. Here comes Henry. Here comes the prince. Gotta be joking. Alex, it's good to see you. Sober? Oh, oh my God, we don't want to screw up the schedule. You must stand to the right of his royal house. Schedule. Protocol. He's a bit of an amateur, no? Who the like, prince? The... Uh, the... Clement Diaz, I would have arrived styled, styled and ready. Looks like a tourist, like a fan. My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. You're wearing lifts. Lifts? Why do they hate each other so much? How are they gonna fall in love? I really want to know. I think they're quite similar, actually, and maybe that's why they hate each other. I mean, tops. <laughs> No, both bottoms, which both is the power worse. bottoms, which is the problem. Actually, they can sense each other. Can you two scooch in a little closer together? Oh. Sit on his lap. <laughs> One thing I most admire about Alex is his willingness to admit when he's wrong. The prince is a little of a c-word, no? Mm -hmm. You visit this place a lot? Every couple months. Mm -hmm. Shots fired? In the children's hospital, I mean guys. Sitting on my leg, he wants to sit somewhere else. Some parts that be true. Yeah. Makes sense. What do you mean by that? It means you get good. <laughs> <laughs> Le Labo. Product placement. <laughs> Climate conference in Melbourne. First night party. Then you turned to your equerry and said, get me out of here. I didn't realize you'd heard that. I said I mean to get out of here, which is a different thing entirely. Oh. You probably fancied him and was like, ah, shit, I need to get out of here. Some kid brought fireworks for his friend. When you say neutralize... It's good he's already in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! See you in a few months, Your Majesty. Later, John! How old are they? Do we know? The boys? Yes. I would say probably like mid twenties. No. I had no idea you and Prince were such good friends. Yeah. Well, oh no. Neither did I. Hey, you mind if I put my journalist hat on for a sec? No, it's a trap. Oh. Girl. The only Republican who makes us nervous is Abraham Lincoln, and I doubt he's running. You see, this is why I ask you these things, because you give me quotes like that. Are they flirting with each other? No, he, well, he's gonna get some stuff out of him. Yeah, yeah but I also feel like he's kind of flirting with him. 
Deberíamos de vernos pronto. Off the record, of course. Hang out again, so they've been hanging out mm, before. He is the enemy. So I wonder what the background is. Mexican, maybe? Diaz? Yeah. So, very progressive, no? It is. Like a female president. With a Mexican. With a Mexican husband. husband. Yeah, Mexican husband. <laughs> Are you having That's a That's a UK number. Hello, Henry. It's the prince. Oh. Dickhead. <laughs> this is how it starts. I kind of like it, though. Give us a little more of that. But I need a bit more backstory. Like, are they already out? Does the world mm. know they're gay? Okay. <gasps> wow, that was a bit mean. I hate the tie you're wearing in Vogue. So boring. What do you have against color anyway? Gray is a color, thank you. This was received a parcel of your mum's old campaign t shirt. Is this your idea of a prank? <laughs> the next box is full of songs. Well, the, I mean, the messaging is okay. Poetry. He was single handedly responsible for every romance ever written in the last two centuries. And that's not even considering his personal life. I'm blocking you for the rest of the night. Yes, because this is boring crap. <laughs> Go find someone else. No. What? He's sending him a turkey? So, there's this American tradition where the president pardons a turkey before Thanksgiving. I don't understand. Don't you have to commit a crime to be pardoned? Really? Hmm. That is a tradition? No, he's too that. Uh... Why are you awake? Because some bellin decided to call me at 3 a.m. to talk turkey. What's a bellin? <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> are they on the phone? Like, what's going on? Yeah. You're more of a human than I thought. Wow, thank you, Alex. That is so flattering. That is so cute. Miles away, but in the same room. They should be in the same room. Have I surprised you in any way? Nope. You are just as ghastly as I imagined. I'm hanging up now. No, I'm hanging up on you. Fine. Have it your way. Okay, we are entering cringe territory. <laughs> this is what the red button is for. He also reminds me a little bit of uh, Home Alone. I'm gonna hang up. No, you, you hang up. Me. No, you hang up. The Prince Prince Henry looks a little bit like he uh, is uh, Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little. Mm. So it's Christmas, and then his New Year's, New Year's party, party is going to be soon. Did anyone ask you to write this memo? Oh, I took the initiative. Yeah. If there's one thing people on campaigns hate, it's when the candidate's family takes initiative. Oops. You do help. You are genuinely useful. <laughs> and I could be doing so much more. That's cute, though. He wants to be taken they serious. They don't want you to be doing more. Yeah. Fast forward, New Year's party. I guess. Sequins, animal prints, crystals. Glitter. Nice tie. Who's this? this? Uh, Orange. Must be colorblind. This is obviously copper. You are so annoying. This is my best mate, Pazio Conjure, who has been begging me for an introduction since the wedding. Only the Secret Service can stop you. Okay. I have been drunk since Christmas. You gotta catch up. So they are mates, right? It, mm -hmm. It's giving that. And they're having conversations. Genuine conversations. Oh? Yeah, like, I mean, a few months ago, this wouldn't have been possible. No, and the prince is a little uncomfortable. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's left alone now. Jealous? 
He's envying no, her? I think he's just like doesn't know what to do, you know, by himself. Oh, hello. Bad maybe Bunny. he's not this loose, you know, like he's not a party person, maybe. But Bad Bunny is on. He better dances. Loosen up, baby. Loosen up. Now we know what the White House is doing during New Year's Eve. I'm in it. <laughs> I'm looking for tickets online already. Yes, loosen oh, up. He's getting drunk. He opened the tie. He's holding a bottle. He's getting drunk. He's drinking from the bottle. Prince Henry. How could you? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, I can't. This is cute. They're the only ones in the room. <laughs> well, everybody has dropped to the floor. Oh. I love it. This might be my favorite moment so far. It was cute. Ten seconds remaining, everyone! Oh, and then they need to kiss. Uh, at least a kiss on the cheek for good luck. This and who's this? No. Oh, he wants you to kiss him. Oh no, uh, he's uncomfortable. He is is just jealous. He's like, oh, they see in love already. Mm -hmm. The prince is in love. Go after him. The prince needs saving. There he is. Did I do something wrong? Yes. You kissed everybody but me. Do you ever wonder who you'd be if you were an anonymous person in the world? Oh. I'd certainly date more. <laughs> yeah, because it's so hard for a prince to get a date. It is. I don't interest me and the people who interest me, I can't date. Gosh, you're as thick as it gets. What? This is too much. I didn't think he would make the first move. It makes sense though, listening to what he just said. It makes sense. I'm sorry. He's he's hiding. <gasps> he's hiding who he is. He's not <gasps> saying anything. Run after him. Oh, run because after him. Because it seems like he already had some kind of gay experiences, you know? Who? Because he was flirting with the other guy, and it sounded like there was true, something, true, you know. True, 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 true. The journalist in the car in the coffee shop. Oh, he's not replying. Wow, it's already February second. Wow, the movie's moving very fast. So, funny thing happened on New Year's Eve. Can you kind of tell her? Kiss me. I totally privately called that. But from where I'm sitting, Henry is... Kind of gay? More like the first 50 rows of a Gaga concert kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> How many rows gay are you? A hundred. Well, according to her logic, I would be straight because you know I don't go to concerts. <laughs> you do. I do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah. Did you like it? Grab my hair in a way that made me understand the difference between rugby and football. What? I mean, you've been wanting him to dick you down forever. What? <laughs> oh, yes, no. I like him. No, 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 no. Let's go. Extrapolate as you wish. Yes, please. First, you've been long distance text flirting with him all day, every day for months. Correct. Very bad. Straight up ignoring the who's who of hot young women in order to talk to Henry. And uh, you had a moment looking at each other. Objectively, what do you think that means? What do you think? Objectively, I think you should book a ticket back to London. I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. He now this is no annoys me. What I'm really confused about is being into Henry. How many guys have you been with? Whoa. I want to know as well. Did she hear it? Yeah, I think so. No. <sighs> Once 
with Miguel Ramos. The political reporter! <laughs> Miguel Ramos, we don't like him. Okay, well, do you two have any appearances coming up? He's supposed to be my guest at the Prime Minister's dinner next month. He can't go me all night. I guess you'll find out. Here he is. <sighs> Fast forward. And the Prime Minister of the United Ooh, what is she wearing? So the fashion is not exciting me so far, mm. I have to say. The boys look good. The rest, not so much. I mean, this dress, yes. Oh. Not him being the... Alex. Okay, I'm gonna call it now. He's the villain of the season. <laughs> Movie. Guapo. I read your Texas campaign memo. How? Oh, it was super confidential. I'm a journalist, Alex. Don't listen to him. <sighs> the campaign putting your memo into action? Because they should. He's, he's just trying to get into his pants. It's the year the Democrats finally flipped Texas. Miguel. Shut up. I mean. Yeah, we're uh, gonna flip Texas. Good to see you, Miguel. Oh, I love this. He's just walking away because he doesn't care. I need your help. Where's the threat? Do we need to clear the room? What? Yes. Clear the room, bitch. Clear the room. Best I can do is the red room. We take him any further in the security team. The red team. room. We like the red mm -hmm. room. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Miguel is gonna see them. And we're gonna write a story or something. Mm -hmm. Also, I think Zara is the one who leaked the papers, the campaign, the Texas campaign. Maybe. I don't like her. I know. I owe you an explanation. My yes. behavior was appalling. Shut up, stop He's gonna kiss him. <laughs> he wants it as well. He wants yes. it as well. Chill. Don't break the wall. Chill. Oh, chill. Uh. All right, fellas. Time's up. We gotta get back to. Oh, God. <sighs> Don't interrupt them. They were looking for books. Played oh, cool. Still... Nothing happens. Stonehenge. Your royal hardness. <laughs> <laughs> Prime Minister, this is my son, Alex. It's good to see you and his royal highness on better terms and not on the floor. Henry and I are much happier against walls. <gasps> Everything all right? Well, hopefully we'll get through tonight without any more scandals from these two. Oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to draw her hatri like, hands or You annoy me. Oh. Go and find a room. Here's what we're gonna do. Yes, tell me. You're gonna come to my room on the second floor of the residence where I'm going to do some very bad things to you. <gasps> What? Okay, this is suddenly going very quickly. Let's like, go! What? Fast forward! I mean, I guess they wasted like two months, you know? Uh, yes. You're late. <sighs> oh my god, lock the door. Close, yes! Close the curtains! Oh. To be clear, this changes nothing between us. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> you went? It's impossible. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Please lock the door. I can't. I'm gonna be thinking just about the door now. <laughs> We're traumatized by the fucking window in Young Royals. Someone's gonna take a video. Yeah, Miguel. No. What's that key? I'm telling you, it's a bit spicy. The prince is busy. Wait, I wonder, so... that was it? But I wonder, is this the first guy for Henry? Maybe. I guess you could say I'm... bisexual. I am as gay as a maple. One of them is honest. Maybe he's bisexual. Do you think? Yeah. Hmm. No by erasure here. Fair enough, fair enough, you're right. I wouldn't mind doing this again. Me neither. I just can't afford for you to fall in love with me. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Over yourself, your majesty. It's your royal highness. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. Okay. The door. Again. Lock it. Okay, but... 
Looks like they already made out, so. I should probably get going. Yes. He did say that I'm gonna do a lot of bad things to you, but then mm. he just sucked him off. Yeah, we didn't see much. I mean. Oh, look where we are now. A minute ago, they were fighting on the floor, mm -hmm. smudged and covered in cake. Okay. He doesn't want to leave. I mean, would you want to leave? Would you leave? want to leave him? No! no. <laughs> I like how we're like really jumping the into... Thirst has, the thirst level has increased dramatically. Let's go to the polo. Oh my god. Please lock the door. <laughs> Not sure you can. This, this is going to be the thumbnail. Close the door. Lock the door. Are you hungry? Yeah, I can eat. You just said... Oh, let's go to Paris. Oh, they're doing some shopping now. <clears throat> Do you have a last name? Actually, I have several. My full name is Henry George Edward James Hanover Stuart Fox. And I thought Alexander Gabriel Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. Excuse mm. me. <laughs> he is a mouthful. Mm -mm -mm. Prince Henry belongs to Britain. Mm. Henry Fox has to belong to himself or else I'll vanish. <sighs> Can he ever belong to someone else? <gasps> he already <Any> does. <gasps> Heartbreaking. Not in front of the gods. He wants to touch your head. <sighs> but it, it breaks my heart. Wasn't it a bit weird because he asked what about the king and then he said, um, my grandpa? Huh. True. I think we should make love tonight. Mm -mm. Oh. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> but I mean, who doesn't make love anymore? We're gonna like listen to Lana Del Rey when we do it? All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Some people do. Some people actually do. Who's gonna do what? Because I'm. Who's Tom and Bono? What are you? I've never... Oh? What? He never? I went to an English boarding school, dear. Trust me, you're in good hands. So he's the top? He's, he has to be the bottom? I don't know what he means, but you need to start undressing and tell us. Wait, are we gonna take one piece off at a time? Chop, chop! Undress each other, like... Come on. Oh. Yeah, they are. Look. This is such a nice moment, no? A nice moment to look at, yes. Well, it's not just a shag. He said, let's make love. Yes, He's in love with him, you know? Oh, okay. So, actually, other mm. way around. They have to stay together. They're also kissing like they mean it. And this is making love, you know, it's not just a quick shack. It's beautiful. I think the only thing obviously is like how long will it last, you know, because he will never be able to like 100% like fully commit. No. Did you tell Miguel Ramos that we had a plan to flip texts? What? No. 16 tweets today, all linking to his new article. They need me to be realistic, so they can be idealistic. If you don't understand that, then you have a lot to learn about politics, kiddo. Mm. She's a little bit... She's a bit condescending, She's no? a little bit condescending. She should read his strategy. Exactly. There might be some really good points in there. Madam President, do you need me for something? What's the deal with this campaign memo? Yes. Finally. 
I read your memo. Good work. We're sending you to Texas. Working to get my mom reelected. See, the that's what he loves doing. Electric, and I think we can make a real difference. Dear Alex, I can't think of a single way to start this email except to say you're incredible. <laughs> your body comes back to me in my dreams. <laughs> Look at his arms. I want to see your mouth covered in barbecue sauce. And then I want to lick it other sauce. And then he wants to lick it off. <sighs> I was He's just about job. to say, where's uh -huh. Miguel? Here he is. I summoned him. You know, we were staying at this Can hotel tonight. Can you wish him away again? <sighs> Get me the voodoo doll. The problem is you sandbagging me and my mother's campaign on your little wannabe Washington Post website claiming you get a plan to flip Texas. Which you do and have enacted and confirmed as much when we spoke about it. Don't talk to right. him! Buenas noches, cabrón. Uh, what are you doing here? <clears throat> Just a bit of skullduggery. Give <clears throat> me help plan it. No! Not with him being there. Uh, uh, lock the door. Lock the door. No. No, please lock the door. <laughs> oh, I can't watch. I actually can't watch. This is. Then he shouldn't be able to come close to the room now because those are oh, there's no. like bodyguards. Have you ever had your heart broken? Ooh, deep question. The day my dad died. Oh, bless him. Oh, that's why he said my grandpa because his dad is. Dent. Alex Claremont Diaz, it's almost seven. You have interviews to do. Let's get going. Wake up. Shit, shit. Uh oh. Is there someone in there? No, this Sarah needs to be. That's it. Why Rich! are you going in? I'm coming in. No! Line? Come on, Zara. Close on now. Zara. Just leave the room. Where is she? Zara, no one is here. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that no one left her phone. What is this bitch doing? Why is she invading his Who space? Who are you? Get the fuck out of here. You don't have her sign. I'll be like, girl, I'm going to throw you out the window. If you what don't I do it in my own down. bedroom, what I do in the bed is not of your. No. Good morning. <laughs> Huffing and puffing. Free. Don't you tell me what to do. How long has this been going on? Since Don't tell her oh, anything. God. And who knows about this? Literally no one but you. Oh, and I told my sister. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she was really happy for us. Oh, I can't wait to see mm. her again. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Yes, the both of you. I need to think. What's wrong with this bitch? Honestly. I don't like her. But you're the one who decided to put your dick into the air to the British throne. Well, technically, I'm the spare. Not talking to you, sir. <sighs> she needs to chill. Would it make any difference if I told you not to see him again? No. Every time I see you, it takes another year off of my life. All right. Why is she take... Put the phone I'm down. downstairs. And... Yeah, exactly. That's his phone. No, she needs to put the phone down. You get your ass back to Mary <laughs> right fuck now. It I want you chewing on a goddamn crumpet by sunset, and if anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit. Oh, she's giving it back, huh? You got me? Yes. Uh. <sighs> Your Royal Highness. <laughs> <laughs> well, you watched into the room. Literally, like, even if it was a girl. Why, uh, why are you coming into the room? Yes. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, darling. Does she Does know you already? Know? I don't know. Okay. She probably knows already. Do you think? Probably. It's your mother. I've met someone. <laughs> huh. I mean, why would that be relevant to the campaign? <laughs> She's not a Republican, is she? <laughs> no. <laughs> not that bad. She's also a he, and he happens to be Henry. 
As in the Prince of England. She's gonna get that hattery Hansel sword out of the table. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need some pizza. Oh, she's happy for him! I told yeah. you! It's Yuma Thurman! Fluid, pants, quick. Quick, mom and bye. All right. I don't feel like it will be. He's the prince. Okay. I just want to make sure you know you need to wear a condom if you're having anal intercourse. Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about getting you on Truvada and it. She's very knowledgeable. She is very knowledgeable. And you have to tell your father. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> That's probably the worst part. And when your child is Alex Claremont Diaz, you get used to the exception. Oh, that's cute. I love you too. She, she needs to say it now going to Texas. I'm headed there to chill over Labor Day weekend with my dad and Nora. My dad suggested that I invite you. Do you want to come? Please say yes. And he's already there. I just realized the, the prince is a little ginger. A little bit. Strawberry blonde. Oh, of course he's good in football because he's British. Oh, hello. Your Royal Highness. And Gail is going to see them. He happens to be there. Wait for it. Mm -hmm. He will probably realize he will see them more and more often together. And then he will just... Okay. The prince is having fun. Oh, I'm having such a good time. Uh-oh. Mm. Oh, is he falling in love, like properly? Yes. Oh, he has a beautiful smile. The prince, gorgeous. Oh, so you like gotta it? tell him now. What's not to like? Are they sleeping in the same room? Slash bed? You are, after all, talking to the patron saint of gender-neutral bathrooms in Austin, you little shit. <laughs> That's cool. So he hasn't told us that. No, I think it sounds like he knows. Oh! Next summer we could come back here for like a couple weeks. Weeks? We could walk through Austin holding hands and it won't even matter if anyone sees us. It will matter because he will always and forever be the prince. I've never felt this way about anyone. He's probably thinking, like, panicking, you know, mm. like, okay, this is getting too much suddenly. Yeah, it is. Fight or flight now. What I mean to say is, Henry. Mm. Oh, Henry! No. Ugh, Henry. Not the right thing to do. Guys, why? This was supposed to be a chilled, chilled Henry. gay romance. <sighs> Told you, there's always going to be drama with the gays. It's sort of just the thought of like him never being able to like be fully open, you know? Oh, exactly. Oh, and he's just leaving without saying goodbye. It's no. He's trying to escape. Oh, he Alex block needs him. to catch him again. No. He just needs to have a talk with his mom and... But you know how it is. We're literally watching it in Young Royals. It's not that easy. I ended things with Alex. Oh, Hen. You didn't. You just ran away. Exactly. Cheer up. At least you'll never be king. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, in that case, why don't you just up to get and be like, you know what? You don't need me. I'm out of here. Um, this constant ghosting. <laughs> Still calling. That is so bad, though. This is literally you breaking his heart. Just running away. Going crazy here. Well, you have air miles. Yes, flyover. 
So Mr. Claremont Diaz is at the gate. You mm-hmm. this on seeing him. Can you actually believe it? Can we please talk? I'm prepared to let you say what you need to say, and then I'd like you to leave. I have done nothing but explain myself to you this past year. I don't know what more you want me to say, and I don't appreciate you barging in here in the middle of the night. I have been losing my mind this week because the man I love has vanished from my life without an explanation. My life is the crown, and yours is politics, and I will not trade one prison for another. He talks a lot, but he says very little. We can figure out a way to love each other on our own terms, no one else's. It's just simply not possible. It no. is, though. It is the only way. Just give him a kiss. So tell me to go, Henry. And I promise I will walk out that door and trouble you no longer. Ah, he does have a key. So he did lie. He did lie. <gasps> Is he gonna actually close the door and then lock it? Oh, he's going in. Or out. <laughs> uh-huh. He has the key to the museum. What? Which museum is that? I don't know, either v a or British Museum. But either one is quite far from, from the palace. Yeah. Like, how do you get to just walk there? I know, I was just like, hold on. <laughs> we dance right there amidst all these statues. Oh no. Miguel is gonna appear. <laughs> Out of nowhere. <laughs> click, 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 take pictures. Oh. Putting on some music and they're gonna dance. Are there no alarms? In the museum? I don't know. But he's the prince. He's allowed to. And they should be listening to some Lady Gaga. Because he's what? He's a 51st rose? Yeah, gay or something? Exactly. There are some really good quotes in this show, actually. In this movie. Please Looks like the VMA. And I promise I will try and be brave for us. Okay. As I may write the history of my life, I want it to include you. That's cute. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we could make some. Are we gonna make history? In the museum? <laughs> Absolutely. This weekend? This coming weekend? Yes. Let's go. They are so cute together. Yeah. So you can have all of this. Still have a signet ring. Now we're even. This is the key to my heart. Oh, the nuclear codes. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I love you. I'll be as patient as you need. Say it back. Say it back, Prince Henry. No, not here. Oh, this is so cute. It must be so hard not being able to kiss the person that you love now. In public. It's crazy. Or just be like guards, whatever, bodyguards. Yeah, but turn around. You don't know. There could be, I don't know, <laughs> Miguel are coming around the corner. <laughs> Paparazzi, yeah, you know. Like a leaking stuff. You never know, yeah, you never know. I thought I was emails to Alex have been hacked. They'll post it overnight to Reddit. What? How? And now security photos of the two of you at the v and have been popping up. Huh? All of them. How? I'm so sorry. Who uh, did this? Zara, 100%. I've taken the liberty of confiscating your phone. 
as a precaution. You've done what? Um, I mean, I guess if it was bugged, you know. It is believed that this is the work of certain rogue elements within the media. Miguel. Imagine. What? The emails which the mirror is calling the Waterloo letters details the romance of Prince Henry and Alex. Oh, Claire so why are they posting Diaz. it? Like it's private. Baby. Are you joking? Oh, but... Now we have Miguel Ramos of Politico, who was the first American journalist to break this story and who has written extensively about it in the week since the leak. Of course. How did you have time to read nearly 72 emails? write an article and publish it all within two and a half hours good question are you really that quick or did you perhaps have advanced knowledge that this leak was going to happen yes but someone needs to connect the dots in the white house because we connected the dots and i'm ready to jump into the screen and punch a bitch i mean well, I think it's a lot us. tougher for him now. For yeah, him. I was going to say. For ourselves. For Alex, it's, I guess it's a bit easier to deal with, but for him, for Henry. The Mr. truth Prince. is, every queer person has the right to come out on their own terms and on their own timeline. Exactly. You outed him. I fell in love with a person who happens to be a man, and that man happens to be a prince. Prince Henry George, Edward James, Hanover Stewart Fox. Mm, the whole name. Great job. Wait for it. I'm proud of you. Um, you said she has something to do with it. He she was working was with her. Miguel. I hope Henry was watching. I could feel him watching. Is she rolling her eyes? Yeah. What's wrong with her? She is the enemy. Here we go again. Oh my god. Sean Travastava, this is our Bankston. Look, I know we said we'd only use these phones in an emergency. Well, <laughs> welcome to that emergency. Well, she's helping him, Until actually. you put these two lovesick homosexuals on the phone with one another. <laughs> I want you to march your skinny, perfect ass over to the prince, hand him your phone, or so help me God, you will never be naked. Maybe she's an ally? Who is she speaking to? Sean, the... Um... Sorry, I could kiss you. Touch me and die. <laughs> Him? Ooh. Hello? Baby. <gasps> he calls him baby. I'm hanging in there. You... So who leaked the stuff if it wasn't Sarah? <sighs> But then it didn't really show. I wonder what Henry's family said about it. The grandpa Maybe and his, they knew. And his mom. Maybe they kind of knew. Princess, uh, the, the king's gonna walk in and be like, oh, this is the guy. Show me your torso. <laughs> torso. <laughs> That's the upper body? <laughs> yeah, but like, that was so random. Uh, have you been watching? He has a beautiful torso. <laughs> Your speech was beautiful. Oh. You'll be very proud to be your boyfriend. Ah, uh, boyfriend? You'll never guess who Sean is dating. <clears throat> Excuse mm. me, sir. The king wishes to see you. Oh? Both of you. The king. <gasps> oh, yes! yes! What's his name, Stephen Fry? Yes. And he is gay in real life, so mm. we liked it. He is giving a little queen. <laughs> it's all true, Grandpa. Nevertheless, I have directed Palace Communications to issue a firm denial of these accusations. No, we don't like that. Alex and I love each other deeply. Come on, James. Be an ally. I have read your emails, Henry. All of, them. All of them. Mr. Claremont Diaz, let me disabuse you of the idea that your contribution to this conversation is in any way welcome. 
I don't like where this is going. Because the nation simply will not accept a prince who is homosexual. Uh. Yes. The nation, including us two, accepts him. Yeah. What's going on outside? It's probably a gay parade. It's the gays from Soho. Starting today, the world will know me for who I am. Not who you want me to be. Are you sure this is what you want? Yes, James. I certainly hope not. He will still be able to do his royal duties and whatever, mm -hmm. like, just with a male partner. Like, what's yeah, the difference? Yeah, exactly. Yes, let's go. Well, it has been a long election night. The entire race now hangs on Texas. Did they flip Texas? You may remember that it was her son, Alex Claremont Diaz, who was a driving force in turning her campaign's focus to Texas. Let's go, Texas. Give us the happy ending. Claremont has carried Texas and its electoral vote. president of the United States. <laughs> I want to know who leaked the emails. And if it really was just, um, what's his name? Miguel? Miguel. How did he get access to those emails? What do we do now? Mm, I know what you can do. Do you still have my key on you? This is so beautiful. Is this where they used to live? Maybe. After you. Wow, you really are working class, aren't you? Well, shut up, your majesty. Do you want me to give you toilet? Tell us what are your thoughts? It was a cute little movie. It was a cute little movie. Yeah. What were your favorite moments? Um I think when they when Alex and Henry kissed for the first time, which was the New Year's Eve yes. party, like in the snow, like yes. that was really nice. I agree. Um, and then... Yeah, they had a really nice moment as well when, you know, when they were at Alex's home, right, with the dad as oh, well yes. and the friends. See, see. And, you know, they were just hanging out and, like, just doing normal stuff and, yeah. like, just having a good time together. Be themselves. Yeah. And they were doing the karaoke as well. And and then Alex was just looking at him. Mm. And you could, you could see, like, how... In love he is. How in love he is. Yeah. Or not just falling in love, but the love was solidified, right? That That feeling that he had inside of him suddenly became real. Yeah, and I think... That, that was the moment where he probably made the decision of like, oh, I'm, I'm going to tell him, him that I love him. Yeah. And then, which he then did. But then obviously... Henry swam away. Swam? Swam, swam away. Swim? Swam? Swam. Swam away. Um, you know what's funny? I want to say that it feels almost like two movies. Mm -hmm. So the first part of the movie felt different. It had different pacing... It had a different feel to it. But once the kiss happened um, and they then started going to town, it suddenly turned, I don't know, it just changed. It, it, or at least that's what it felt like for me. Yeah. Not in a bad way. I'm not, you know, no, it's no, but I get what bad. you mean. I think, I think probably, yeah, the first, at the beginning, it was more like a, comedic yes film yeah you know they they had this like frenemy yeah, 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 relationship yeah. punchline after punchline, punchline coming and, after each other exactly and then they started texting with each other you yeah. know like making fun of each other and yes. stuff that was so cute though suddenly yeah. they're telling like like they were talking about anything and everything and then that i think cute. as you said then once what when they kissed and this kind of romance started 
it turned more into a love movie, yes. like into a romantic movie. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's not a bad thing, but it might sound like it, but the energy that I felt and, and, and the cattiness that we had in the first half, mm -hmm. I kind of missed it a little bit. Yeah. But it also makes sense because, you know, the person that you love, you're not going to tell them, you know, like you're not going to yeah, throw shit at I them. I think here and there, they were, they were still like, Poking fun at, fun at each Fair other, enough. you know? Yeah. Um, this Miguel situation is still annoying me. I, I, I want to know who leaked the emails. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Yeah. Could have and Sarah running around with the more. phone. And I was like, is she going to leave the room with the prince's phone? Like, babe, put the phone down. Yeah, she was she was behaving in weird. a weird, suspicious way. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, mm, can we trust her? Can we not trust her? I don't know. It was just a bit... It, the same thing with this Texas stuff, right? How did Miguel mm -hmm. get his hands on the Texas memo? Yeah, exactly. So, I so don't know. I guess maybe they could explore that in the second part, in the second movie, you know? Yeah, I kind of feel like it should have been explored here. And just, yeah. you know, it's almost like a like like a sub-story line that just needed to be resolved in mm. a way. But I guess it's a two-hour movie. There was so much to go through. Having one more thing to add would have just made it even longer, right? Um, I do yeah. Mm -hmm. I do think the cast was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. They've done a good point. Uh, they're like they've, they've done a good job casting. You know, Stephen Fry was a nice surprise as well. Yuma Thurman. Yuma Thurman was a nice surprise. <clears throat> so it, it was a good casting. But also the boys, I felt they had incredible chemistry. Yeah, yeah. They the were chemistry amazing, was incredible. And very believable. Even the way they were kissing each other was like, oh my God, I believe them. Yeah. I freaking believe yeah, them. Definitely. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, the cast was very um, diverse, you know? Yes. And also just like the background of the characters, you know, like Yuma being a female president. From Texas. having From Texas, having a Mexican husband. Mm. Um, but it felt organic, right? Sometimes you sometimes you see it in movies and productions or, or any sort of, you know, show or... Like sometimes we see it in fashion and, and I don't know, like sometimes they just want to take a box and you can see it and you can mm. feel it and it's not genuine. And here it felt like super organic. Yeah. It, it felt, and it, you know, it was believable. It was believable. Um, yeah. And you could see as well, like the relationship between the, pre the, the president and, and her son changed as well, you know, where to, at the beginning it was more, she was more condescending, you know, mm. and she was like, oh, he's a, he's like a troublemaker or, or whatever. But she, then once she actually read those, those the, memo. the memo and everything, she was like, oh, actually, he, he, knows he has good ideas, you know, yeah. and then she, he, she, she trusted him and she sent him to Texas. Yeah. You know? He earned her, um, trust, respect, yeah, trust, respect. Yeah, yeah. respect and trust. Um, I do think some of the dialogues I thought were a bit weird, right? When so we have the scene at the lake mm -hmm. where Alex is about to say "I love you." Yeah. Henry dives and swims away, and then that evening he leaves, mm -hmm. right? He runs. Yeah. And then Alex comes back, knocks at his door, and wants to see him. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, the president's son is at the gate yeah, yeah and then they're at this room study room or whatever room it is and henry's in front of that fireplace and starts talking and yeah. then i said to you oh he's talking a lot but he's saying nothing right that dialogue felt a little bit weird to me because i'm like it feels it, it almost sounds like you're talking to another person right? mm. it, it some of the dialogues were just yeah. a bit off i think yeah just the way he was expressing himself yeah was a bit weird like it wasn't really clear what he meant yeah but i think what he was simply trying to say was oh it's much easier for you then it's for me. to come out and be gay and yeah. whatever and be open with it then then for me you know because you know i'm part of the royal family there's yeah. certain expectations yeah i need to fulfill my role yeah da -da -da -da. but yeah but then you know Alex said to him, like, I'm happy to wait 
you know, I'm not going to give up so easily. Mm. And then they have this lovely moment in the museum, obviously. Yes. In the V&A, by the way. That was the V&A. Yeah. Because there was a scene uh, later on when they were. <laughs> I want to know how they got there. Like from Buckingham <laughs> Palace. Girl. I mean, that was funny. Every British person is looking at this movie being like, are they joking? Like, well, no, non-believable. Uh, speaking of, by the way, every scene towards the end, we got a lot more scenes in the palace and obviously in the UK and everything. I was like, where are the scones? It was giving the crown. I needed scones. <laughs> and jam and pot of cream. There was no tea. No, tea, no. But scones. And the king at the end smoking inside the palace. Big no. No, no, no. Good movie, fun movie. Mm. I can see why people like it. I would watch it again. I think it was a good movie mainly because of the main two main characters and yeah. they had such a good chemistry. Extreme, yeah. I have to say I like the first part more, mm -hmm. but that's because that cattiness, you know, them slowly falling in love, and you could literally see, you know, this the the the, the yeah, it was a the bit back more... and forth light-hearted and like just that. fun and like then obviously towards the end it became more emotional and like yeah, oh. yeah yeah but i like this frenemy bit right where and especially that that dialogue that conversation they had in that um in the waterloo children's hospital mm -hmm. right and there was this child that brought firecrackers or <laughs> fireworks or whatever yeah. for his friend and they were in that in that cleaning closet and they're having this conversation and then alex opens up and is like oh it, at this event a few years ago you treated me you were very rude and mm. you wanted to get away from me and like that that moment really started all of it right where, where they started being real to each other and opening up yeah and that i really enjoyed i, I really enjoyed slowly it's almost like a like an onion right mm -hmm. you would peel it off slowly to get to the core i don't know do you do that with onions do you peel them off to get to the core you know, know what I mean? A few layers, yes. Yes, you know what I mean, <laughs> right? And slowly the facade was coming down mm -hmm. and the boys would let down their guard and and slowly fall in love. That scene at the New Year's party where everybody was going low. Yeah, that was nice. time started to stand still. It kind of reminded me of this scene from Heartstopper as well, season one, where they had the big party. Mm. And... Mm. The, everybody's dancing, dancing but then they kind of see each other across the room and they just have like it's like slow motion yeah and... yeah we had it as well young royals at the beginning of season two yeah when villa walks into the third year party and simon is there because of the of sarah burning mm -hmm. down the flag mm -hmm. and then the the lights and it slows down it's very romantic we need that we need a bit of slow-mo as well yes. anyway that was a very cute scene i loved it it was beautifully done um and the cast yeah i mean the cast carries the movie the cast carries the movie you can see why people like it what is your favorite scene what is your favorite moment put it down in the comments below we can have a chat thanks so much for being here thanks for watching we have a lot more on the channel this was a long movie we have a lot of series on the channel heartstopper young royals check it out and we will see you for the next one take care bye